Next video is from Rob Hunter. Hi, Rob. Uh, great YouTube channel, and I'm learning loads. That's awesome. That is the purpose. Just trying to add some more value to your Fusion 360 experience. That's why I'm doing this. Um, so, I'm wondering if you can help. Uh, so, Rob is trying to bring in a Rogowski profile. I had to Google it. <laughs> so did I, Rob. Don't feel bad about that. I'm trying to bring it in as a CSV file, so as an Excel file, uh, but he gets an issue. So uh, let's take a look at this because I think I can help you fairly easily. So um, Rob sent me his CVS file. Let me open it up here in Excel. One, two, three, four, it opens up in Excel. He sent me this uh, Excel file here. And um, when he goes to import it, what you can actually do inside of Fusion, you can import an, a, a, um, a file. All you're gonna do is go to Tools up here, go to Add-ins, click Script and Add-ins, go down to Import Spline CVS, and then hit Run. And then it's gonna look for a CVS file. What is, uh, what is, what is uh, Rob Hunter's here? Double click on it, but he gets this warning that says there's no valid points. So I get the same error as you, Rob, so you shouldn't feel uh, too bad about it. But the fix is actually fairly simple. Uh, when you're trying to bring in um, a CVS file into to Fusion, it is looking for an X, Y, and Z, or Z direction. Um, and you don't have a Z. So I'm gonna go ahead here and say zero. I'm going to grab that little sucker and I'm going to drag that all the way down there. Now you actually have three coordinates, X, Y, and Z and Z. So let's save this. Do that. Let's go back into the add-in, scripts and add-ins. Go into import CVS file, hit run. There's the file. And there is uh, your imported, uh, what was it called? Rogowski uh profile so that was a uh, that was a very easy fix uh on that one rob hope that was useful you just needed to get those zeros in there or whatever you wanted that uh z value to be if you like this thumbs up if you didn't that's okay thumbs down uh and as always i love your comments if you haven't subscribed to the channel it would truly mean the world to me if you did and then if you hit that little bell icon you will get the notifications um you know, for us YouTube, a subscribe counts is just kind of like what we can't stop looking at. And it makes us so happy when that goes up.